Hello guys, this is KG7YTS here with another video for you. This one's I've this one I've got a quick comparison of two different belts. So on the left we have a cheap Chinese click belt from Wish and a mission belt over here which mission belt was kind enough to send to me for this comparison video. So what I will be doing is I will be um, comparing the two belts saying which one is better. Maybe one is not better than the other but they have different ways different ways that one is better while the other one um, is better in another way. So I'll just be comparing the two right now. So first off right here the cheap Chinese click belt. We see right here we've got a brushed gunmetal finish belt. Now when you um, buckle it up it does kind of look like an, a normal belt buckle as you can see by the the tooth right there to make it look like a normal belt buckle. Now the one thing I did notice was because of how the buckle is when it's closed um, when you're up close it doesn't look that much like a regular belt purely because of the fact that this does stick up quite a bit from the actual leather of the belt itself. But it's still a great looking buckle. Now one thing I need to point out is this is not the strap that came with it. The one that came with it was like way too short. It wasn't one that you could cut yourself to get it to the right length. It was way too small for me. So I had to order a new one, a new belt itself, not the buckle. Just the belt itself from Wish to get one that was the right size. And it advertised it as the same the same width as the one that came with the buckle. But I found that to be false. Because if you look right here, that edge is chewed up a bit from the buckle itself because it's just a tad bit thicker than it should be. Now, these are both ratcheting belts, if you didn't know. but So over here, we have the mission belt. Getting a lot of glare from the light real quick. Let me block that. You can see the logo there. And then right here we have the release. So I'll go ahead and pull that so I can get this hanger off. One of the advantages of the mission belt is that it does come with a hanger. So you can hang it in your closet. But I actually use it to hang it on my um, tie hanger. But it is a great belt nice gold buckle to it. It doesn't look like a regular belt like this one does, but it is still a nice, a very nice buckle. And it actually hinges right there. So now, the advantage of the Mission Belt was that it came with their biggest size, and you cut it down to the right size for you. Now that I like very much. So I was able to get it, and you always want to start out cutting it long because you it doesn't grow back so you cut it long and then if it's too long you cut a little bit off so I just cut like half an inch increments off until it fit right so that's one thing that the mission belt does have going for it is that it's um easier to get the right size for you whereas wish it's more hit or miss and then um another advantage to this is because the belt came with the buckle as you can see there's no wear and tear on the on the belt itself now as you'll notice if i put these right up next to each other the mission belt is slightly taller that's because I ordered a, a larger width, something more substantial for when I'm carrying stuff on my belt. This still can handle carrying stuff on my belt, it's just this is more sturdy. 
Now I will note that neither of these are designed for concealed carry or open carry. So they're really just to designed to hold your pants up, but I find that they do hold light stuff relatively well. So let's look at the mechanisms real quick. So as you can see right here, this whole buckle is the release for it. And it's attached to a spring that, let me try to find it, moves a tooth. It's kind of hard to see on video, but it's like right in there. And that's what it clicks onto the ratchet system. Now this one, it's got a, it's got that release right there, but this one actually, let me find a good angle where it actually shows it moving. There we go. It's actually magnetic paste. I find that this one is actually a bit sturdier compared to the Chinese one. And I also find it fun to play with. Sometimes it does require a bit to find the buck to find the release, but that's not too big of a deal. Considering this one, when you do a stress test on it, let me go ahead and ratchet it. It's in, oh, whoa. It's not going anywhere. Whereas this one, the cheap Chinese belt, I'm gonna have to set the camera down real quick to do this one. So it's not gonna be quite on camera for a bit while I put this into the buckle. So one thing is it is quite a bit of a hassle to get this run through the buckle. Kind of got to play around with it a bit. And then once you get it through, then it's not too bad. But once you get it to here, you'll notice that because the whole belt is the release mechanism, putting a stress, simple stress test on it like that, it just comes right off. Now when you're wearing it, it's not that easy to undo, but definitely when you are, um, when you are just testing it out, it will come open because the strap itself is pushing on the buckle. So that's one thing to know. But they are both great belts. And I find that this one is a little more subtle. This one, because of the giant gold buckle, it does pop out a bit, but that's fine. Just depends on what you want. But overall, I will give the mission belt um, to be the better of the two belts. But this one is still a great belt. If the strap... If the replacement strap was the right width, it would it would probably be pretty comparable to this one to the mission belt. But overall the today the mission belt wins. So thanks for watching. This is KG7YTS and I am clear.